Now all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, and still the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, let's do a video about Dazone and the Sky Staff. So let, let's see, let's do a video about that. Now, uh, I don't think that's good for breakfast, is it? Jelly beans. So we'll leave them there. And we'll go for that muesli patrol. Will Johnny Nelson, the company man, Mr. Bean, will they jump ship to Zazon? Yes, they will. You know why? Mr. Bean tried to get on at Satanta back in the day. Didn't you, Mr. Bean? We know about you. Mr. Bean reminds me of them people on Titanic. Do you know that uh, Billy Zane in Titanic? When he jumps on the boat and makes out his father of a kid. That's Adam Smith for you, that. That's Adam Smith. Here's another one of them. When the going gets tough, Adam Smith don't get going. That's that's true, that's true. They've all been taught well, haven't they, off Rupert Murdoch at Sky. If you don't believe me, go and ask Andy uh, Gray and Richard Keyes. But uh, they will jump ship, sure as eggs are eggs. But I'm going to throw a curveball now. Because I always go the opposite because boxing has taught me that in five years. That whatever anybody says, there's a method behind their madness. Whatever anybody does. Whatever anybody whatever anybody's role is in the boxing community, they're always looking to push the boundaries, bend the rules, cheat even, backstab and manoeuvre themselves into a position. This is why I do this channel. But have you noticed, right, for everything I've said on here, let me tell you this, we do 825 videos, right, not one person has come on, not one person has come on this channel and gone, well, I don't agree with that, or that's not right. Why? Why is that? If I'm such a bad guy, why? I send death threats on a daily basis, they don't bother me, it's water for ducks back. We're all going to go someday, aren't we? If people say that I'm bullshitting, call me out on the bullshit. Call me out on it. Only two people have ever said, oh, I didn't like what you said. Two people. And they're two fighters from Steffi Ball's gym, and they'll have had people in their ear adding bits to it. All right, only two people have ever pulled me, two, and I respect them lads more. Now, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes in the boxing industry, people trying to outmaneuver, people trying to blacken people's names, but if anybody doesn't like what I say on here, all you've got to do is come on channel. Ring Dennis's office, leave your name and details, email them, or email me, or come in, or come to door, and we can debate, or can do whatever. So, but when you tell the truth, I had a chat with a good friend of mine the other night about this for about an hour. <laughs> when you tell the truth, how can anybody have a go at you? Hey. So my opinion is this, this is a curveball. One mouthful of that and I'm, and I'm full. I'm wasting away, aren't I? Well, I don't think that Eddie Earn once, I don't think Eddie Hearn wants to have Dazone in England. That's why they're delaying it. I might be wrong, but I'm just going to go to the opposite end. I'm going to go the opposite way. And if I'm wrong, well, listen, I've made enough money out of boxing, putting bets on, going other way. I've also lost money. But I always go the opposite way. It's just how I am. I just don't believe 95% of what I hear. Don't believe it. 
I don't believe it. And the honest ones are usually the ones that are not not earning, not doing well in boxing. So they're usually the ones that I get on with. Because the rest of them are just liars and bullshitters, bluffers. But I'm going to say this. <clears throat> and this is not what anybody's told me, this is my opinion. Although I have talked to a few people about it. Eddie Hearn don't want to leave Sky. And they don't want Dazong to come to England. They want a better deal with Sky. That's just what I think. They want better rights fees. Now they're getting 3 million quid a year for 20 shows off Sky. So you get that straight away, beginning at year. So you've got 3 million in your bank. And you're going to pay out as little as possible for them 20 shows. So what are you going to do? You're going to sell the arse off every show. You're going to do interview after interview after interview. You're going to have your own reality TV program with Coogan Cassius following you around all day. And you're going to sell it as much as you can. And this is where I think Den goes wrong. You don't sell shows, does he? Don't, not, don't push them as much. Eddie Hearn pushes it, doesn't he? So if he can sell that show, and you'll load the tickets, right? What'll happen? He can keep that TV money for that show. If you can make a guaranteed minimum of 150 a show without wrecking into it, and let all the security, the fighters, the judges, the, the officials, the referees, the security, the venue wire, the advertising, the billboards, billboards, whatever, pull ups and that. If you can do all that without breaking into your 150, that's brilliant, isn't it? We can all do that. So you've got to tip your hat to Eddie Earn, because he gets it, doesn't he? He gets it. They've comp all the right people, don't they, to the shows? They comp all the right people. They used to comp me when I were live off on Twitter with a lot of followers. Look, this is how it is, right? They don't want to leave Sky. They've got, they're involved with Sky with other stuff, but if their zone do come, Who's to say that Sky might lose the uh, darts to Dazon? We don't know, do we? But what we do know is they've had a relationship with Sky since the Chris Eubank days. It's not 30 year barrier and stop telling lies. But they've had a relationship with Sky probably 25 years. And uh, Maybe more, it might, it might have been 30, it might be 28, 30, it might be, I might have it wrong. But they've had a relationship with Sky that long, that they're not going to want to break that, I don't think. They just want a little bit more for the book. They're accountants, aren't they? Them rights fees have not changed for a long time, have they? But, so, the BBC were paying 110, 15 years ago a show, rights fee. So if Sky are only paying 150 now, it ain't gone up that much, has it? I bet the price of a pint's doubled since 2004. Look, so I'm just going to go with the fact that they don't want to leave Sky, they're just using Dazone because a big company like Dazone, why are they saying they're going to be coming in next year, 2021, back end? Why not just come in now? Why not now? Is it cost at all? jostling for position I mean I know people who work at Sky they've had the dates cut back pundit dates in certain positions ask Sky on the wane I don't know but there's a lot of people flapping and I know somebody at Sky right who is looking at, to buy another house and he's like do you know what I might not buy that because I don't know what's happening with Sky so you don't know do you there's all sorts of things going on behind the scenes and everybody is going to be out for themselves. They're all out for themselves. It's like an old boys club now, isn't it? In its sky. Come on. But I'm just going to go with the narrative, my, my own opinion that why don't Dazon just come to the UK now? Why are, we, why are we waiting? Why is it going to be another 18 months like they're saying on here? 18 months. Why not now? Why not now? There's talkers and there's cheese and onion walkers. Too many people are good gunners. Oh, I'm gonna, we're going to come over in 18 months. Gunner. Good gunner. Gunner, gunner do wonders. All they do is shit cucumbers. 
Come now, do the job now. But I just think that there's it's going to be interesting how it unfolds. But who's to say that they might not leave Sky? Who's to say that they're not going to leave Sky? They might going to leave Sky, go to Dazzle. They might go take us up, they might go Pete Tong. Then what? We're going to have them begging to get on Eurosport. From BBC with Dennis. We don't know, do we? We don't know, but... Exciting times ahead. Exciting times ahead. This is why we love this sport so much, Johnny. Rough, tough, rugged! I'm spitting music all over the place here. So, I think that's about it. For those of you that have not liked and subscribed, hit the red button. It's in the bottom right hand corner. And then you get your porky fix straight to your phone. Alright? Tonight's film is going to be Brawler. The Chuck Wepner story. You know the one where he fought Liston, Foreman, Ali. And then he sued Sylvester Stallone, didn't he? And got a million dollars. Because they, they built the Rocky film around his life story, didn't they? But anyway, that's another story, isn't it? So, I'm going to watch that tonight. That's about it. So, peace out.